Guyana Power and Light continues to educate its employees on chronic illness. Delicia Haynes tells us more. The seminar was a collaborative effort between GPL and the St. Joseph Mercy Hospital. GPL Chief Executive Officer Renford Homer explained that it aims to provide continuing education which will assist employees with chronic diseases to better manage their illnesses and maintain healthier lifestyles. He noted, providing quality service to consumers can take a toll on the health of employees without them recognizing it. As a company, what we also recognize is that you can't ignore these challenges. You can't ignore the impact that this can have on our, our, our health. And so the annual program that GPL has endorsed I think it's a magnificent one. Minister within the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Karen Cummins, said that more businesses are becoming aware of the need to combat non-communicable diseases within the workplace. NCDs have a major impact on men and women of working age and their elderly dependents. The results are loss of income, lost opportunities for investment, and overall lower levels of economic development. That is why it is commendable that GPL has taken this initiative to speak to its employees about chronic illness, illnesses and present alternative pathways for avoiding and in some cases reducing the debilitating effects of NCDs. The minister also highlighted the negative impact NCDs have on national and global economies and its threat to economic development. The government has placed emphasis on the reduction of the incidences of NCDs and their complications in Guyana. This has led to the Ministry of Public Health investing 70% of its budget to combat NCDs. Delicia Haynes for InfoHub.